The goal of this presentation is to introduce how Inventive can be used for design optimization of um, um, chassis systems. Um, we are going to present a basic application in which Inventive is used to uh, build the parametric model um, of uh, the rear part of a, a chassis. Uh, the model will be composed of uh, a main beam, which is a black beam we see here, and uh, two side shafts, which uh, make the link between the main beam and the bearings uh, on which the, the wheels are mounted. The ultimate goal of this demo is to end up uh, with a model that allows to analyze in X, Y, and Z what are the variations of the uh, different uh, points of uh, mounting of the bearings. We will uh, um, show that uh, then the X, Y, Z position of those points uh, are having some variations according to the tolerances present on the parts. Um, and also according to the deformation of the parts uh, and to the uh, inaccuracies of the different uh, welding operations um, between the different uh, parts. So this, this model of course is, is uh, a 3D model and uh, as you can see here it represents uh, the coordinates of the uh, bearing points in X position with these two coordinates X right, X left, in Y position, which is uh, distance between the two bearing points, and in Z position with uh, Z left position and uh, Z right position. As a first step, I'm going to present uh, individually the different components that are present in this uh, assembly. So first, the main bar itself. I will open it for addition. So. We have simply represented its, uh, its main uh, shape here and the two planes uh, on which the side shafts are mounted. So as you can see we can uh, model as well the fact that uh, this main shaft will have some deformations. So we can have deformations uh, vertically here, uh, sorry, um, around the, the Z axis, so it's in the, the horizontal plane. And then the shaft can also deform uh, vertically. So when we look uh, from the rear of the car, this represents a vertical deformation. Um, then the second component that was used in this assembly uh, is uh, the side arm component. So the side arm component is uh, simply made of uh, top view represented here with all the dimensions. This plane is a plane um, uh, on which the side shaft mounts on the main uh, uh, shaft arm of the uh, rear chassis. And uh, this point here is the bearing point um, of uh, our chassis. Uh, this uh, side shaft was also represented in the rear view so that we can use its uh, representation in the rear view. So we have the plane, mounting plane, section of the beam and the um, bearing point. Quickly, before we present the finished model, I will introduce how the model was built. Uh, simply, I'm loading here first the main bar, which is main, main bar 1. So it's one of the, um, yes, it's the, the representation of the, the main uh, shaft. Uh, I'm going to change the way it's color. Okay, I'm going to say it has to appear in black color. And then I'm going to say uh, we are going to fix this uh, axis in orientation and position. Um, second step, we can uh, load the, the side shaft. So just to show how the side shaft is loaded and mounted, we say uh, load manual instance and we load the side arm component. Um, okay, sorry, I don't think it was. I say uh, load manual instance, I load the side arm. Okay. 
So this is loaded the first time. I'm going to hide the information from the uh, rear view for now. And I'm just going to say that this side arm has to be mounted on the side of the shaft here. So I'm going to say we have a dimension between this point and this plane. A dimension between this point and this plane. And then we are going to have a dimension between this point and this axis. So I can put those dimensions at uh, zero and associate to them some uh, tolerances that will represents, represent the accuracy of the welding operation between the shaft arm and the main uh, shaft of the transmission. So I'm saying this dimension is zero and it will have a tolerance of uh, plus or minus 0 0.3 and then this dimension also has to be uh, zero with tolerance of uh, plus or minus uh, 0.1 okay so the mounting operation i just did was done for the uh, the other side as well we just loaded a symmetric um, instance of the side arm and we loaded also also this symmetric instance um, for the two rear views that we have here in the bottom so when the model is built, we can go on, for example, the main bar, flex top left, for example. And you can see when I perturb this dimension, I'm actually modeling the possible uh, flexion effect of the main bar. And uh, it allows to compute this effect, the, the, the effect of this uh, deformation on the, the position of the uh, side arm. So we can also create a measurement from this point to this uh, axis here. And uh, if I increase a little bit the size of the dimensions, uh, we'll see when I perturb the dimension flex left top, uh, numerically we we'll see what are the variation of the X position of the uh, bearing point, the left uh, bearing point. Also, we can vary the uh, welding uh, dimensions and we will see how the model uh, changes. Of course, the variations I'm doing here are exaggerated, but uh, they show um, the principle, the proof of concept of what can be done with uh, this type of model. So, if I go back on the finished model, the interesting uh, part in this model is that uh, we actually um, have a fully finished model with all the coordinates that were uh, created. So, we can go on, for example, some of the uh, main bar dimensions. Uh, we can say for example, we go to flex uh, left rear, which is this dimension. And uh, if I perturb it, you will see, of course, that the Z left dimension will vary, but also the Y dimension will vary because uh, this variation has a 3D effect. Having variations in the Z direction in the rear view will also have an effect of the variation of the Y dimension in the top view. So if I make this variation, I think you can see the, uh, the Y dimension is going from uh, 2538.6 to uh, 2547. Okay, in the same way, if we take the, the weld uh, measurements, um, for example, this one here uh, in the bottom, if, and if I perturb it, uh, we see the effect of this perturbation on the uh, the white the Y measurement on the uh, top view of the chassis. Okay, um, it's also possible based on this model uh, to change any dimension um, of the parts or of the assembly directly from the list that we have here. Uh, that's maybe one of the big benefits of this type of model. It is the fact that it is a fully parametric model. Um, 
that can be reused uh, in the preliminary definition stage for this type of uh, chassis uh, designs. So it means when we use this model, we don't yet have all the detailed CAD information about the product, but we are actually only making decisions about the key, uh, the, the most important functional dimensions, functional parameters of the different uh, components. So if I go, for example, on the components themselves, I can go on the side arm component and, uh, for example, change uh, um, a dimension. Um, so not a radius, but uh, uh, yes, I could say, for example, this dimension, what's going to be the effect of variation. You see it changes a little bit the, the shape of the side shaft on the on the left view on the right view and also you can see the the sections on the bottom that are changing and the y dimension is also changing when i modify this uh, side arm uh, dimension the last uh, information in this demo is that um, in this preliminary stage, what we are doing allows as well to um, do some tolerance stacks and uh, identify in the stacks uh, from the preliminary stage what are going to be the uh, dimensions and tolerances that have the most impact, the biggest impact on the X, Y and Z measurements. For example, on the Y measurement, we select the Y measurement, which we say analyze tolerance, and the system will generate a tolerance analysis report. So it's uh, it's saying here that uh, the element that has the biggest impact is going to be the dimension uh, selected here in the sketch. So if I click on it again, we see that it's the weld, uh, the variations due to the weld on the um, left hand side of the of the mounting of the side uh, arm then uh, the second most important parameter is going to be the same weld uh, variations on the uh, right side uh, then the third uh, sorry the, the third most important um, contributor is going to be the weld that we have on the rear left side. So if I zoom in this area, we see that it's going to be the weld in this area. Uh, and then we see that the up to the contributor number five, uh, we have all the weld effects that have the biggest importance. Uh, then the contributor number six is um, the uh, it's a dimension of the side uh, arm. Um, okay, it's yes, it seems to be okay. I need to zoom here. So it's uh, thickness of the side arm in this area it's going to have an impact on the Y measurement because everything is measured from the outside plane of the uh, side shaft, side arm. Uh, if I zoom out and uh, go here on this contributor, uh, we see now that it's also the, um, the thickness of the side, side uh, arm and then, okay, we have all the dimensions of the side arm which have a, a big importance. So from this list in the preliminary design phase, it is possible to uh, change any uh, nominal value or any tolerance value in the pre-design phase of uh, a chassis system. Um, and uh, using this uh, report, um, the engineering team can uh, have um, very early in the project 
um, the definition of the quality function of the chassis that is designed. It means the function that gives the variation of, of x, y, and z in function of all the other parts, uh, parameters, and uh, manufacturing process parameters. Thank you.